It's just a quick video of um, some troubleshooting I've been doing with uh, these rally clocks. Um, so you can see this is actually clock number two. Um, so this one has never been installed in a car, um, whereas this one was. Uh, that was number one. That that went in my red 240Z. There's another video on YouTube uh, if you want to check it out while it was um, working. Um, so it's working right now. I've got two oscillator boxes. So this is, um, I think this is number two. So this was originally, these two were originally uh, together um, and they work fine together. Um, I've currently got it plugged into number one here, which was paired with this one. Uh, so these two here were originally together. Um, as you can see, this one is plugged into to this one here and it's working uh, fine. Um, likewise, when I plug that one in, it works fine with that. So it seems like there's a problem with uh, this particular clock. Um, something mechanical perhaps, uh, but um, yeah, uh, I don't know what that is yet. Uh, but I just sort of quickly also just show how I set this up as a test bench. You can see there's about eight um, AA batteries here. These came from JCAR or this, this particular contraption did anyway. And it's, it's really simple. It just has a positive and negative coming out of it. And I've just, put in a half amp um, fuse here. So I just had to cut um, and solder that in line there. And I just put a couple of male and female uh, spade connectors on there. So it would plug into the loom for um, for this, uh, you know, um, these, these here, these female and male connectors that are on the back of these clocks in, in the 240Z. And, um, just also, uh, yeah, I got a whole bunch of those, uh, just also, um, cause I wanted to test out, got a bunch of original 240Z clocks. Um, none of them work. Uh, I think the one out of my 72 240Z does tick, but it doesn't keep accurate time. You can see the, the lens on it too is a bit dodgy. They've all got imperfections in some way and, uh, they're all going to get refurbished. And the calendar clock, uh, which is currently on eBay, I tested that out also. It works. Um, and unlike the rally clocks, it doesn't really tick at all. Um, it's very, very, very quiet. There's no hum from the oscillator, uh, which is something I actually wanted to see if I could capture on the camera, although it's probably at a frequency that you won't be able to hear the oscillator. I'll, I'll just try. Um, if I get really close, sometimes certain angles, it's more pronounced, the frequency, but I can hear it, but I don't, just don't know if it'll get picked up by the camera. Um, and the sort of gear noise here, I, I'll go around the back maybe. Can you hear that? Maybe you can, maybe not. Um, but yeah. yeah, so the calendar clock that, that came later uh, was actually significantly more quiet um, and it sort of just smoothly moves around. Uh, but otherwise, there's the very similar clocks. Um, obviously, these being the early ones, uh, I have a bit of a preference for just because they're kind of cool with the two knobs at the bottom. Sorry about the lighting, I didn't really think it was going to be a long video. Um, but yeah, there you go. Um, don't know what the problem is just yet, uh, but at least I know that the, both the oscillators appear to work uh, with either of the clocks. Um, and, uh, and at least one of the clocks is working and appears to be keeping accurate time. I will keep it running on my bookshelf there for a few weeks just to make sure it's all good and, and happy um, and I've got plenty of spare batteries um, in case it happens to draw enough uh, out of them but um, 
Yeah, I, I don't think it draws too many amps. I'm actually not sure how much it draws, but um, I'm sure Ron at uh, Z Clocks will, will inform me anyway. Anyway, there you go. Some more inf information and trivia on these clocks. And if you have any questions, let me know.